the point of language is to communicate, is to communicate what we're really trying to say. So there is no right or wrong definition of a word. There's what the word means to me and can I get, and hopefully it means the same thing to you. And think about some of the phrases like DEI or far right or MAGA. Like those mean so many different things to so many different people. And if you just throw it into a conversation without sort of saying like, look, here's what I'm actually talking about. Because once I usually say, here's what I'm actually talking about, usually we get aligned. Usually we can connect. But if I throw in some catchphrase, then the person on the other side is thinking like, oh, like he's one of those people. <laughs> either, either, no matter. Right. Social identity <laughs> becomes part of the conversation. And now we're juggling different social identities. And if we might be using language from a certain social identity that the other person doesn't fully understand or sees it in a different manner, well, then we're actually having a disconnect that's going to lead to distrust and not the whole point of communication, which is trying to build and foster that connection. That's exactly right, which doesn't mean we have to have the same social identities to connect. In fact, what we know is when we're having a social conversation, when we're talking about how we relate to society, how our backgrounds influence us, oftentimes the most important thing to do is to acknowledge our differences. But it's not to acknowledge just one difference. If I start a conversation, I say, well, you're black and I'm white, so we probably see policing differently. Then what I've done is I've shoved you into this stereotype and I've shoved myself into a stereotype. But on the other hand, what's true is that every single one of us has many identities, right? We contain a multitude of identities. And if I say to someone, look, I'm wondering, as a father, you probably feel strongly about policing, but I know you're also a lawyer. And that probably gives you a different perspective on it. And, and you're a black man, and that probably means you have different experiences with cops than I do. And I know that you mentioned that, um, that you had a, a, like an uncle once removed who got arrested once. Given all those different like, pers- hats that you wear, how do you think about policing? At that point, what I've done is I've acknowledged all the differences between us. I've brought them on the table, but I've made it so that these are not oppressive identities. These are rather an opportunity for me to bring my full self to the conversation, to invite you to bring the full self to the conversation. And so when an identity comes up, what's important is don't just make it one identity, make it multiple identities. 